I can still uh, think back to <laughs> my grandfather was reading his magazine. He's shaking his head. And, uh, just really, really funny. We had uh, gone up to this place and seen this car collection. I think the collection was uh, from Governor Winthrop Rockefeller, if I remember correctly, from the Rockefeller family, had this amazing car collection in Arkansas, somewhere close to Conway, and uh, on top of a mountain, actually. And we had stopped somewhere, and my grandfather was reading his magazine, and he is shaking his head, and uh, he, he kind of make this deep sigh, and he goes, you know, this guy just should have realized you don't get to pick. And I said, what do you mean? What guy, what do you mean? He said, well, this guy had everything in life going for, for him, but he got confused along the way and thought he could pick which stories he told that would be real and which stories he would tell that wouldn't be. In other words, Paul, he was trying to pick when to have integrity and when not to, when to take the proper action and when not to. He said, son, you just don't get to pick when it comes to taking the right action and doing the right thing. And that little story um, and him telling me that and seeing how upset he was and shaking his head and stuff stuck with me. And it's probably why we have our first rule in our company is to do what's right. Because it doesn't do what's right sometimes or every other time or when you feel like it. And it doesn't say, hey, do what's right and just pick the time you need to. It's just do what's right. So just remember that. You don't get to pick when it comes to... Uh, your actions, just do the right thing. So uh, that was a great lesson and something I've always tried to, to remember, think about and uh, drive into our people every day. So um, we don't start picking because that's, that's not a good way to do business or to live. So see you later.